Happy New Year, you legends. I know I'm a little bit late. I haven't done a video in a little while, but I was taking some time off. And I just want to wish you, your families, your friends, everybody around you, the best 2021. Let's forget about a shitty 2020 and let's move on to a good 2021. I've been taking time with family, friends, and I've, as I've mentioned on Instagram and in a few videos, I'm having an operation on my throat this time next week. So I'm going to be less present on Instagram, but we pre-recorded a few videos for you. So there will be videos coming out because I have three weeks where I'm not allowed to speak basically. And so yeah, obviously it's tricky to make videos if I can't speak. Today, however, I wanted to do a recap of some of the highlights of what was a very weird year. So, you know, first of all, I hope you're all in health. I hope you're well and your families are well. You know, we all know about 2020. We all know about the complications of 2020. But what was interesting about it is pretty much everyone had to adapt. No matter where you lived, no matter what you were doing, we were all in it together and everyone had to adapt. And that definitely included um, myself with YouTube videos. So it was an interesting year. And I just wanted to go um, over kind of how the year started and how it went and some of the highlights throughout the year, some of my favorite moments that we filmed and show you clips from each one of those moments. The year started off, it, it couldn't have been a better start to the year. It was snow tour with Team Galag, a bunch of friends. We went on the most unbelievable trip uh, through Sweden and Norway and it was just so surreal. We had a bunch of supercars drove on ice tracks and the footage does the speaking to be honest. <laughs> Whilst on Snow Tour was the first time I actually heard about COVID, it was very, very early um, in the year, early January. And that's when I first heard about COVID and obviously things escalated really quickly after that. And before you knew it, we were all in a lockdown. And a lockdown when you're trying to film supercars is not ideal because we couldn't go anywhere, we couldn't film any cars, I couldn't even drive my car, obviously. We were locked in. So we had to adapt. And that's when we got more into and launched a series about celebrities' car collections. And it, was, it worked really well for about six months until we felt like we'd done the main uh, celebrities who had awesome car collections. And that the comments, you know, people were clearly getting a bit bored of the format. So we ended, let's say, season one of that. We may start again one day. But I just wanted to do a little bit of a highlight of some of the celebrities we covered and their coolest cars. While we were in lockdown, I also announced potentially it was maybe the biggest announcement for me of 2020. I mean, probably irrelevant to anyone else. But I thought it was kind of cool. I announced that I'd ordered a Ford GT, which is arriving in a while, but ordered it. And uh, that was a really, really cool moment. Just sharing that and the support that came through there was awesome. And just having that moment during lockdown just brought so much positivity. Yeah, yeah. The title is, uh, well, it's true. It is yesterday I put a video live showing the four options that I had for my Ford GT order. The custom line, cu uh, custom series, carbon series, heritage edition, and studio line. Those are four options for how I could spec out my Ford GT. And they also are going to ask me, like, you know, different things about when I want the car, etc. As soon as the lockdown ended and that front door was unlocked and we were set free, the first thing I wanted to do was to film cars. My cars, friends' cars, fans' cars, whoever's car. I just wanted to film. I wanted to go out. I wanted to have a good time with. So we were lucky enough over that kind of, you know, three last three quarters of the year to be able to really film some cool guys. Hello guys, you join me in one of the latest and greatest from Maranello from Ferrari, the X12 GTS. Hi guys, today we're talking about this, the G63.
of the things which was the hardest for sure, um, which I really wanted to do in 2020, we planned like a whole road trip with doing meetups in every city um, and we had to cancel that. And one of the hardest things was not being able to feel like, uh, you know, you're giving back enough to you guys, to the audience, to people who are supporting you every day, day in and day out. The best way to do that is to actually see people in person and uh, have a chat just like hang out as friends. is why I love doing the most, but obviously in 2020, it was impossible. And even when you've got the mask on, it's different. So thankfully, when things had calmed down with COVID over the summer, we were able to do one small meetup, which was awesome being able to see a bunch of people. And that was when COVID was at its lowest point. Bueno. then also surprise a fan who is here who is a firefighter a local firefighter who obviously had a big impact on all of this was kicking off with bringing people to the hospital etc we wanted to thank him for watching the videos but also just for supporting uh, the local community and then also a younger fan recently who we surprised for Christmas <laughs> These are three highlights for me because those are some of the most special um, sharing moments with you guys. Speaking of sharing as well, one of the cool things that we were able to do, or that I was able to do is, is share the experience of having a supercar. So, uh, you know, it's something that I, I want to be able to share with friends, family, and potentially you guys. So uh, being able to let people drive my supercar this year was also something I think back to as some of the most positive moments. Another surreal moment was when I finally got my Audi R8 and my Ferrari 430 Scuderia both in similar specs together for the first time, which coincidentally happened to be the day we hit 200,000 subscribers on my French uh, channel. Just massive coincidence. So that day has a lot of good memories for me. Um, hitting 200k on the French channel after uh, yeah less than two years on that channel, is, it was really, really surreal. And having both of my cars there next to each other, one of my best mates driving one and me driving the other, such good memories. Another highlight was one which uh, really divided the opinions was the wrap that I put on my Audi R8, which was designed by you guys, designed by the audience, um, put on here in Monaco, had photos of subscribers on the back and definitely divided opinions. I mean, it probably it definitely wasn't the prettiest wrap in the world. It was um, shocking, visually stimulating, <laughs> but it was uh, what it represented to me, which was so cool, you know, designed by you, for you as a thank you. Um, and it was a really, really cool moment when I first saw that. And unfortunately, the car is now up for sale and de-wrapped, which is another part of 2020, but enjoy a couple clips of it with the wrap on.
And to round things off, I think definitely one of my highlights as well, despite COVID, and one of the things I love doing the most is uh, surprises for friends or family and little things that, you know, maybe YouTube opened the doors to, um, which have been surreal uh, throughout the year. So some of my favorite moments also, you know, when I think back of the year is seeing, you know, seeing friends, seeing family or whoever with that surprise look on their face. Um, and putting those things together is, is really surreal. So I just wanted to kind of round things off with that. Ça fait très longtemps que ce garage c'était un bordel. Du coup, je voulais leur faire une petite surprise et refaire le garage pour eux. J'ai aussi négocié deux studios pour eux qu'ils puissent avoir leur propre endroit. Oh, Tada! Tada! La personne qui va le kiffer le plus, c'est Erwan. Donc aujourd'hui, on lui fait la surprise. Joyeux anniversaire Ça va l'anniversaire Génial, on va dire faire plus de dire ça tous les jours en fait. Ouais. And that was it for 2020, a year which, you know, despite what it was, has a lot of good memories. You know, there's, it was a weird year, but we had to adapt. And in that adaptation time, there were uh, new ways of, of, you know, bringing happiness to yourself. And uh, it was a really challenging one for all of us, but I want to say thank you for you guys, at least for standing by me. Um, you know, it was another great year by your side, and I look forward to 2021. You know, who knows what's going to happen? We, we have no idea, but we'll all stand together. We'll all sound strong. And I just hope you guys remain healthy, remain happy. And I look forward to sharing more adventures with you this year. So thank you for watching this video. We're kicking off 2020. More videos on the way in the next couple of weeks. And I look forward to spending another 365 days right by your side, guys. Please subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.